All right, everyone, I'm here for the next pocket and making tags and journaling cards for it. And this is the pocket. It was from the first week and it was pocket number three. And basically we have to make something for here. And then she says, if you glue it on the page, you put a tall tag going this way. So, you know, me, I'm thinking a tall tag, I would much rather have a more shallow pocket going this way, but you know what? Why should everything be the same? Let's, let's just kind of change it up a little. So, and once again, I cheated a little bit. I went through my stash and here's my stash of tags and journaling cards. And I found these index cards that I had just done some closing on. And um, they fit in here perfect. So I'm just, I had three of those I put in here. And you know, they can be embellished further. Uh, whenever we get to that part of the challenge. And you know what, I forgot, this is a 15 minute challenge. I have not timed myself yet. So, you know, I, it didn't really matter. <laughs> so uh, since I cheated, you know, on a lot of my stuff, I think I get well into the 15 minutes. Okay, so the three tall tags. I got paper already cut about the right size. Just grab some of my scraps and see if they would work. And basically we were putting some sort of scrap baking paper over it. So I just had this piece of wrapping paper I thought might work for this one so I'm not sure if that will tear with that ruler I guess we're going to go in the right direction uh, I don't even know what to do with it we'll see uh, I try not to clang and bang it so much oh yeah oops yeah sure it tears all right it tears real well <laughs> okay let's do another piece I don't think I'm going to get all of the Merry Christmas in don't know if that matters or not. We'll see. Yeah, it's pretty delicate with that. Don't know. May not be able to use this. Uh, I think it'd be better off just tearing it by hand. So Merry Christmas. Okay, it's not going to fit. You know what? I'm just not going to use it. It's tearing too much. It can be used for other things. It's a very thin scrap of paper anyway. Oh, clang. I did clang in it. Okay, I have a piece of this. And I like that with the green. So let's just use it. And I'm just going to make it a straight edge. Goodness. That doesn't look too bad as far as the tearing. But you know what? You have to... I wonder if I could do this. I'm going to make these a tag. So, I, yeah, I think that might work. Just put the corners even. Because if I was to try to match that tag shape with the scrapbook paper to match what I'm doing with the green, I don't think it would work. So if I do it that way and I slide it down, then it does a pretty good, it fits pretty good. Okay, so that's what we're doing on that one. On this one, I found this sheet of music that I had put a, ma um, a napkin over it. So I thought that would be fun, just kind of torn and put on there. So that's this one. And I'm just gonna tear it by hand. And let's see, we'll just put it like that and then we'll do the, what I call the ears, lop off the ears. And then we just put this on there and kind of tear it to fit a little bit. little bit off the side. Now, since I'm not using that wrapping paper, I'm missing something to work on that one. So, I'm going to grab my scraps. I've got like three bags of them. I thought about using this. It's different. And I'm not sure how it will tear. Let's try a little piece over here. Ooh, it's going to have a great edge. At least this side has a great edge. 
This is some paper I got at a, I think it was an estate sale, garage sale or something. Um, and it was in the package still. And it, it didn't have any sort of label or anything on it. And I wasn't even sure what it was exactly. I just assume kind of wrapping paper because it looks like wrapping paper, but it's thick and it's almost like the consistency of homemade paper. So, and then of course it's got the glitter on there, so that's fun. Okay. All right, there we go. That'll work. So we gotta cut the, let me try it again. Cut the ears off. Scissors. Okay. All right, we're gluing. I'm not going to try inking that. I just don't think it would. I could ink the gold, though. But I would love to use this paper up because it's too delicate or I don't even know the word for it it's flimsy is not really the word I don't know what word I would use to describe it but it won't work for like uh, signature pages I don't think it would just be too too at risk to boy that is not straight at all oh well oh well right what happens when we tear it. It's not straight. So, yeah, I forgot all about this being a three things in 15 minutes. So, um, don't think I made it every time. But I think after this, I will be caught up. I think. So, by the time I get back from my trip, I will be, there will be another video waiting on me. So, okay, one more. This cardstock is kind of textured, so it's got a texture on one side. So, try to remember to keep that up top. keep my overall video under 15 minutes so we'll know I made it the challenge in 15. Okay. That one's done. That one's done. This one glued in. punch the holes in the top with the way she did that. But she didn't put any any ribbon or anything in there yet. Okay. So the pockets all have something in them this way. And then they'll all have a tag that goes down this way. That's got my sticker telling me what week and month. I mean, what week and episode. So, okay. These are ready then. I'm just going to keep them like that. Keep them together for now. And I will see you guys uh, on the next video. So, thanks for watching. Bye.